If I tell you something, will you uh will you not judge me? Let me hear it. I, I need your word. I'll decide after you tell me. Okay, but but go uh, approach this with an open mind, okay? I used to try and find the longest spaghetti pieces I could, and I would hold one end of it and swallow it down my throat into my like as deep as it would go, and I would pull it back out. Did you ever do that? <laughs> No. Did anybody ever do that, chat? Please, That's someone weird, have my side. Dude. That is weird. Hey, there's a one dude. Someone, someone said they did uh, that there's too. There's one guy. Bend him, bend him, bend him, bend him. <laughs> oh, there's one guy. This was live streamed. I stream almost every day at around 6 p.m. CST. If you like the videos, come check out the streams. Why are you drinking so loud? Take smaller sips, small, smaller, more controlled sips, Thinly, please. You know what? You've got me kind of thirsty. You're thirsty too? What are you sucking on? <sighs> Ew, why does it sound worse than mine? What do you mean? I don't know, it just, there's a lot of kissing going on to the bottle. I put, a, I put a baby binky on the tip of my water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I have a gerbil, uh, water. I knocked my water over so much that I started putting it in binky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people say it's for kids, but I'm, I think it's really coming back. Even when I go out to restaurants, they'll be like, what do you want? I'll be like, Coke, but put it in this, and I hand them my little <laughs> binky cup. <cow. laughs> you hand them a little <laughs> bottle that has, it's like pastel blue and has like moons on it or something. Like It's like, it's, a, like it's, it's, it's supposed to be clear, but it's like corroded from all the different drinks that have been in it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the bottom of a f***ing bong after like a month. <laughs> Do you guys have any extra binkies? I chewed- I chewed a hole in mine. You get kicked out in a f***ing second. <laughs> so you would Yeah, you would, dude. You do that, you're gonna get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's like an actual baby drinking out of one, they're like, you gotta go. I think- oh, I think it's a little different. I don't know. Dude, if I saw- Dude, if- imagine being on like a- Imagine being on like a first date with somebody, and you're like laughing and that you're clicking really well and everything's going great, and then you pull out your f***ing <laughs> bottle, and you start sipping. Wait, I'm gonna sneak right up on these guys, and I'm gonna tie their shoelaces together. Look at these dudes. These- they have no situational awareness. These guys- these guys wouldn't- What was that? <laughs> I don't have a med kit. Help we scared me. them so bad that they automatically just jumped into T pose. Let me run into this house and get a med kit. This is scary. Don't leave me here with these guys. <laughs> are they just standing? Please what are they doing? take me with you. What are they doing? They're just standing here. No, I'm not gonna make it in time. I'm getting creeped out. No, I'm not gonna make it. Yes, you are. <laughs> what? One of us dies and we both die? Yeah. Dude, that was freaky. <laughs> um, Finley, okay. I heard earlier you said, um, you were talking about, uh, you know the thing you lay your head on when you're going to sleep? Oh, a pillow? Yeah, see, finally someone in my line of thinking. I get a lot of shit for pronouncing it how it's pronounced. Do you think I should jump scare these guys again? Wait, let me get a little closer. I want to see them too. Yeah, try to get them to T-pose again. Okay, ready? Yeah. Why is he packing up his whole kit instead of- <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, I'm still marking him. Look, pull the binoculars out. You can still mark him. Dude, can you- did you see the way you threw the little grenade in front of him and instead of just running for his life, he starts packing up meticulously this big-ass <laughs> gun? <laughs> what if someone invaded us and they were- they were named Thinly has a tiny Hank Hill ass? What if we got invaded and it was Charborg's missing tooth? That doesn't hurt me. I know I hurt you deep just then. Because you have a tiny you little don't, Hank Hill ass. No, you don't know what my ass looks like. I've seen your ass. I've seen a picture of your ass. Thinley sent me Have a picture you? of yes, you sent me a picture of he sent me a picture of his laying on his tummy and he had his legs kicked up and like kicking his feet oh, yeah, and his I ass did. was out. 
And he had a tiny little Hank Hill ass that looked like two everlasting gobstoppers got too close to each other. And you sent me back, that was one of the hottest things I've ever seen in my life. And I said, yeah, trust me, I know. What if I was, what if I was like Discord sharing my uh, screen one day? And my ass showed up? Yeah, it's like I'm like, oh wait, look at this picture I have and I'm going through my files and you see like eight <laughs> pictures of me cropping into that picture of your ass. Like you saved them all in like a folder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The keepsake. I was lying about your Hank Hill ass, I'm sorry I said that. It was plump. It was really plump. I just don't want anyone to get like a, a warped image of how fat your ass was. Yeah, it was I mean, really fat. I literally have to like lay on a giant pile of pillows just to support my back because my ass floats up in the air. Oh my god, you scared me. I thought you were a bad guy. There's two people up above me, right in front. Oh, okay, I'm gonna circle around and get a vantage point on them. All right, Should fire when ready. Ready, set, fire. Oh, that's the, no, that's a guy. That's a two posing guys. Oh, two guys down by the uh, by the curve in the road ahead. Oh shit. Okay, ready. You want left or right? I'll take left. All right, ready, set, fire. Oh, oh. I fell for it again. Oh my god. I'm gonna get on this roof. Wait, what would happen if we just, like, got invaded and stood up here in, like, the attic of this place? <laughs> uh... You think they'd be able to get us? Well... It didn't work for one person, so let's not do that. For what person? Come on. Let's go. Okay. Wait, why is my chat laughing? Did you say- did you tell a joke that went over my head that made me look like an <laughs> idiot? Uh, it's like a history joke. Are you being serious, or is that like, you just playing dumb? <laughs> Why is this like, such a shock to you? Cause it's like, such a- you learn about it like, probably every year of school. <laughs> I- well, I, I didn't do too well in history class. Would it come as a surprise, if uh, if we met, and it turned out I just always had dip in my bottom lip, like a big <laughs> massive wad of dip? I think it would explain your tooth, but... <laughs> yeah, my shit's rotten out. What would you do if you you went out to dinner with someone and you're sitting there and she's like, sorry, one second, and she removes her shoes and socks and then puts them on the table and then just eats dinner normally? Like, she's completely normal. We have to stop talking about this. Would she get kicked out, you think? I don't know. I think that's more that's more acceptable. I don't know why you that said is, that, first of all. But That is I, not more acceptable. Okay, you're telling me. You're, you're full of <laughs> shit. You're telling me a lady takes, like, her heels off and puts them on the table. That's weird. That's a little weird. But if I see you, a grown ass man, pull out from a f like stupid like Jansport backpack that's way too small for you, I see you pull out a bottle and a binky. That's the weirdest shit I've seen in like ten years. Not if you're you're eating dinner with a chick and she takes her shoes and socks off and places them on the table where you're eating. No, dude. I I feel like that would be that would obviously you have be a foot weird. Fetish. I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a foot fetish. I don't know oh, why. Oh, I that that's not weird. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> twisting it. You're twisting it. You have to admit it's not quite as weird. Oh man, that would really suck. God, if she put her big stinky size 18 shoes on the table, her big clown <laughs> shoes. <laughs> God, I don't oh know what I would do. That would God. be so gross. I think any guy would lose their mind over 18. Size shoe showing up on their table. Okay, Finley, if I if I said like if I had a challenge to you to completely ruin a first date like that, how would you do it? If you had to ensure <laughs> ensure that you would not get a second date and she wouldn't block your number immediately, but you you I mean, gotta it be subtle. So often, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. It can't be. It's gotta be something like believable. Do you know Charborg? Uh, he streams on Twitch. <laughs> I'm friends with him. <laughs> she packs her shit up and walks out. She leaves her shoes still steaming on the table. She doesn't even <laughs> put her shoes back on. She's gone. There's just like a little cloud of smoke and she's gone out of the seat. There was no sound or anything. I think I used to go over this with Papa, but like, uh... If you, if you married a chick and you were married to her for like a year... And then, like, within that year after, you realize that she was actually, like, a Bigfoot. 
would you stay married to her or would that change your complete opinion on her? But you don't, you don't like, so you're saying like, I've only known her for a year and we got married? No, and you were it, married for a year, yeah. Okay. For a year you were married. And so and how long have I known realized, her beforehand? Uh, probably like two years what you were dating and then you got married. Mind. And then she was like, you realize I'm big, I'm like a Sasquatch, right? And you're like, I feel like, what? And she's like, no, for real. And then like, it shows her and it's just very obviously Bigfoot. Like, yeah, just it's not like, even... um, yeah, like the whole, like, the way you picture her is just gone. And then you look back and she's actually Sasquatch. And you're like, like, could you still be in love with this girl? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I wouldn't let her like go places with me, but I I would. What the? F Wait, what do you mean by that? Like I wouldn't want to be seen with her in public or anything. It's just kind of rude to be like. Well, no, listen. I think this is a reasonable. I think this is a reasonable thing because think about poachers. What if we're out somewhere and my wife got poached? You're just making that up. That's not like realistic. You don't think- no, listen, you don't think for out so, doing some shit, we're at like a bar. She's gone three years and you haven't noticed. So is it that her form has just changed all of a sudden, or is it that- She's more open to you and then you realize you're like, holy shit. Like, you were just so, like, dumbstruck by love. And, like, her personality. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, well, what's your answer on this Bigfoot topic? Uh, I'd love her. You would love her? Yeah. That's just so- I don't know, dude. I just feel like if I found out she was Bigfoot, I would be scared of people poaching her if we went places. What's the biggest mammal that you think you could kill with your bare hands? Do you think you could beat up a whale? Someone said whale in my chat, dude, and that's an interesting thought because- No, because it's kind of like when you're underwater, you can't swing fast, you know? Well, yeah, even even like a beached whale, I don't quite think I could beat up. Like, I think the second I hit the water, it's gonna go And then just swallow yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's exactly like a whale. And I have to fucking like- Wrap my arm around its tongue and try to cut the circulation from the tongue. <laughs> You're just choking out. <laughs> You're just choking out his tongue. You have it in a rear naked choke as you like. <laughs> his little like his little throat dangle. Have you ever heard, uh, has anyone ever told you the conversation I have with like uh, pop on them where I think I could beat up a chimp? A chimp? Yeah, like if it wasn't if it wasn't aggroed at first and I got the first swing, I think I could knock a chimp. Dude, out. no, because you got a. Hope and pray you knock it out in one hit. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think I could take one. Listen, you say that, but then, like, I think about a squirrel, like, a, if a squirrel is coming at you with intent to, like, harm you, that is gonna be a difficult fight. Dude, like, if that squirrel's on me, I, I, you know, I really quick grab it and it's like. <laughs> Have you seen the lighthouse? <laughs> yeah, with the pigeon. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you just turn it into paste on the side of your tail. I take its, I take its tail and I fling it like a flail. I don't know, dude. I, I feel like. If you manage to grab a hold of it, that's one thing, but if it's- I've seen squirrels climb up trees quick as f they have little talons. We had I've, a- for a while, I don't know who was doing it, but in our backyard, like, we let our dog out in, like, this back corner area of our house. And... Every now and then you'd see a squirrel with a chocolate chip cookie in its mouth. You're <laughs> lying to me. You are <laughs> lying not, to I'm me. I'm that serious. <laughs> it this was is like the anomaly. stupidest lie you've ever told. Someone in my neighborhood was feeding it a chocolate chip cookie. There's like a fucking obese squirrel, like, can't even <laughs> climb the trees, like, sitting on the dirt. Cause like, I, I'd go on my porch and like, you have like the arm, like the ledge, where like, you can't fall off. But there'd always be like a cookie, a half-eaten cookie just sitting on it, and I'd be like, huh. Hmm. How'd that go? He there? didn't finish this one. And you fucking eat it up. Cause I'd get, I'd get like the, I'd see like the macadamia cookies. I'd see like it all. Yeah, you start learning the squirrels' tastes. Like, like they like, didn't eat quite like as much of the cookie. macadamia <laughs> nut, but they ate the fuck out of this raisin cookie. Nah, that thing was eating the fuck. It looked like chips a whole I think. Do you think you could swallow a uh, golf ball without <laughs> choking? Like if if I, I said right now, I, like no, dude, no, no here's fucking, the, no. listen to the full hypothetical. I have one billion dollars <laughs> that I'm gonna give you. But you have to swallow a golf ball and you can lube it up or do whatever you want with it But if you start That's choking, I will literally do nothing to help you like I will just stand there and watch you choke on this golf ball You'll be like squibber with that fork stuck in his throat. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we're gonna tell you. 
I don't think I can get a golf ball down. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> That's all. Oh. It is a quite a. It's got quite a diameter. The, I know. To it. I know. I'm gonna like look at your clips line the one. It's gonna be like just you making that sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I know it's the amount of times, dude. I feel like slapped in the face sometimes because I'll see people clip shit out of context to the point where they set me up. They'll be like, they'll be like, oh hey, uh, oh, wait, what the f is happening? They'll just like bait me into saying shit that they know is gonna make me look like a psycho. If I tell you something, will you uh, will you not judge me? Let me hear it. I I need your word. I'll decide after you tell me. Okay, but but go uh, approach this with an open mind, okay? I used to try and find the longest spaghetti pieces I could, and I would hold one end of it and swallow it down my throat into my, like, as deep as it would go, and I would pull it back out. Did you ever do that? <laughs> no. Did no. anybody ever do that, chat? Please, That's someone weird, have my side. Dude. That is weird. Hey, there's a one, dude. Someone someone said they did uh, that, there's too. There's one guy. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Oh, there's one guy. I killed my goldfish when I was younger. My sister killed my goldfish when I was younger. I tried to, I tried to take it out of the water to pet it. With your nasty calloused hands, you're like scabby calloused hands, you running over the goldfish. My sister, I came home from school one day and my sister had put poured the entire contents of the fish food into the, the goldfish bowl. And little what's his face was just laying there belly up oh my god at the top of the water full his stomach was like dude it looked like he swallowed a golf ball yeah i pulled mine out of the water to pet it but it's it slipped out of my hands and it shot behind the tv and i couldn't reach it and no one was home so i just left it back there for like a week until my mom found it like all crusted behind the tv dude that's up because you know like it's like um it's like some horror movie where you, I, dude, I, you... I tried to reach that thing. <laughs> it's I... like, what's that, dude? What's that? What's that? What's that book where the dude has the eyeball that stays open and he, the dude, like, is just uh, like worried that the guy can see him plotting to kill him. You know what I'm talking about? Telltale Heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. just fucking Telltale Heart. Like, you hear this goldfish behind the TV flopping for like three days as it slow, as it slowly dies. You know he's dying back there. You. I, I was like so scared of getting in trouble. I and swallowed then at the a same nail. Time, I, dude, like I could not reach that thing, so I was like, I gotta leave it. You get a back scratcher <laughs> and start like slinging it underneath the TV stand, trying to scoop it out. And it's like, it, you know how heavy the TVs used to be. Yeah, the big f things. I actually almost got killed by one. Really? What's your yeah, story? I tried to like, um, you know how you used to have, I don't know what they're called, the name of the cables, but the red, yellow, white ones? Yeah, the R, the, uh, the, uh, RGB uh, cables. I think they're like, no, I'm not gonna say, I don't know what they're called. RCA. I, I thought, that's what, that's yeah. what I was gonna say, RCA. AVK, I was gonna say AV, I was gonna say coaxial, I was gonna say SCART cable. I wasn't gonna say ABDL. I pulled it out, like, I tried to, like, angle the TV sideways to put them in. <laughs> Wait, you just and... yank on it and pull the thing on top of you? Well, it, it hit like a ledge where it was like the too far point and it started to fall and I swear with all my body strength I was pushing that thing to get it to go back up. If that thing fell, I would have been dead on impact. <laughs> Your parents come home and you just... Have to deal with like, the plasma <laughs> like, <laughs> Wizard of Oz sticking out your feet, sticking out from underneath the TV. That probably happened to somebody. Have you ever <laughs> Someone said you turn into Half-Life 1 Gibbs if your TV falls on you. <laughs> Your TV falls on you and you go, <laughs> you turn into little gibs, and they bounce around the room for like a little bit. Or like, <laughs> you get electrocuted at a young age, you just turn into like the charcoal. <laughs> Someone just finds you lying there and you're just like a crusty dude in the corner. When I was a kid, we had, um, we found this like frog. We were gonna keep it as a pet and we put it on the top, we were on the top bunk of the bunk bed and we put it on the blade of the fan and we we're just sitting there like let like chilling with it because like the ceiling fan was like if you like raise up you hit your head and like knock yourself out so uh we're just chilling with on the fan and then our dad comes in and he was pissed because we were still awake and he's like go back to sleep you need to go to sleep and we're like sorry and this fan this frog's sitting there on the fan and uh he's like now and we're like okay and he like turns the light off and flicks the fan on and he's sitting there looking at us and this frog's gaining speed on this fan. Dude, it's like, it's like building up speed. And we're, we're like, okay. He's like, you know we have to be up early tomorrow. I told you three times, go to bed. Do not make me come back here. And we're like, okay.
and then he shuts the door, and we go and turn the fan off as quick as possible, and the frog is like, I think he was pissed. <laughs> um, there's like nobody that lives on my block really, right? But there's these kids that set up a lemonade stand, and obviously nobody's gonna buy from them, because nobody comes down the road. So they're sitting out there, and I guess they got the idea finally to make money, is they're gonna go door to door with lemonade. So, I'm laying in bed, it's probably like 8 in the morning, and my doorbell rings, and I'm like, I'm not gonna answer this. I don't, like, I never answer the door if someone rings it. But then it rings again, and it rings like eight more times in a row, and my dog's going nuts. And I'm wondering, like, all right, if someone rings a doorbell eight times, like, it's got to be serious. So I get up, and I open the door, and it's these kids, and they go, you want to buy lemonade? It's 10 cents for a cup. What the f kind of, what the f kind of deal so are they, are they, how are they making money? 10 cents? <laughs> what is this, 1920, well, dude? I gotta finish this story, Okay, okay, right? I'm sorry. But... So I'm like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, I can't be mean to these people, like, you know, they're probably not making money, so I'm like, yeah, give me a second. And I, I go to my room, I open my wallet, and my jaw dropped, because all there was was a $20 bill in there, and I'm like, no. <laughs> That's what they do, dude. But luckily, I found a dollar, so I give it to them, and they go, oh, we forgot the lemonade, we'll be back. No. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? So finally, like, I'm waiting, it had to be like 20 minutes, they finally come back, right? And they, they're like, here's your lemonade. It was like... It had to be a sip full, and it looked like piss, dude. There was no way they gave me- I have a picture you of it You dump it straight- oh wait, you have a picture? Oh my god. Dude, you're on it's your- <laughs> You're on your it's belly- It's green! You're on your belly looking for change under your couch, and you find your dead goldfish <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at that thing. It was like a sip full, and I was like, I'm not drinking that. It does not look like lemonade. What the f- Wait, I'll, I'll let chat see. And- I was just like, they took they took my money and I got scammed. That was literally like, it had to be like an inch. Not even an inch, it was less than an inch. Well, I see you already sipped a little. No, I didn't sip any of that. I took the cup and I go, that's piss. And I didn't drink it. Dude, it probably, they, you know what? They're so lazy, I bet. These kids. They that didn't doesn't even, look like lemonade. They didn't even make lemonade. They just went and bought the like, only thing, lemonade from the The only the thing store. I could think, it's so low and so little that they couldn't have had lemonade. It had to be like lemon extract. Thinly, you, you know what I mean? Oh my god, Finley. There is a clip titled Charwig Shows Poop on Stream from from a like a month ago. Okay. Where Kraken is showing off his big foot, like you know the things you put in water and they grow. Oh, I am so sorry. I I was there for that. I know what I just set you up as. I oh so my god, dude. <laughs> There is now you I was wondering what, what my chat was saying. Everybody was saying clip it, clip it, clip it. And I was like, what are they talking about? Charwig shows pee on the stream. I don't think I said anything that made it sound like it was actually like my pee though. I went, that's piss. Like real loud when you showed it. Oh I, dude, I have like vague flashes of a memory of what I said and I feel like I said, Whoa, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> 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 oh my god, dude. Someone said this is almost as bad as when he showed a turd on stream. <laughs> dude, it's so, dude, the turd clip is so bad because it straight up looks like a dookie. Dude, that was poop. We, my grandma would get us like these weird gifts. And she got me this one time. It was like, god, I wish I had a picture of it. It had like a keyboard, keyboard right? A mini, mini keyboard. And it would be this brain with eyeballs and like a globe. I'm already scared. And you'd be able to talk to it, and like it would learn like your name and everything. <laughs> and in the middle of the night, I'm sleeping one night. This thing turns on, glows, and goes, "Hey, Thinly!" It's <laughs> like I'm terrified. It's like time to wake up. And apparently, like one of my brothers set an alarm on it and didn't tell me for the middle of the night. Dude, that would have scared so the shit out of me. I'm sleeping. This f***ing brain in a case lights up, and it goes, "Hey, Thinly, wake up!" <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's the time. I that's I, that's I a night up, where you just lay it. in fear all night. Like, you I just took it, carried it to my garage, grabbed the screwdriver, and undid all the batteries and left it out in the middle of the floor in the garage. We had a Furby that out of nowhere, sometimes it would just be like, <laughs> like, yeah. whatever the so Furby there did. There were so many toys as a kid that would just randomly turn on. Yeah, it was you freaky. Turn them off. What sound did a Furby make? <laughs> did you make? see that, like, the toys they have now? Like, did you see that pooping giraffe thing? <laughs> no. There's like, it's like a long neck, you have like a toilet, like a little mini toilet that you fill with water. And it's like this giraffe with a long neck, and you pour like this coated like sugar down its throat and it goes <laughs> and it like swallows it all. And then it goes, it goes, oh no, 
I have to poop, and then it just goes, ah, and you just see it pushing into the toilet like a bunch of little what turds. The... <laughs> Who plays with this? <laughs> You're making this up. You're making that I'm, up. You I'm have to. F you have to f stuff food down its beak like a duck, like foie gras or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's stuff called. this giraffe and fucking make it poop. Dude, I am not. I found it. It's gotta go, flamingo. Yeah, eats and poops on command. Dude, do I play this? I'm scared. It's not- it's pink poop. It's not actually real poop. <laughs> it just goes, oh, 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 and it swallows. <laughs> I don't know if they'll show it. Like, if you had a real video of it, let me find a real one. Ew! Ew! Dude! <laughs> Dude, he straight up- he straight up pinches one off. What the hell? Dude, why? Uh, oh, gotta go, and it's just fucking gotta go. doing that. <laughs> that is so gross. Like, what kid is gonna be like, I want the pooping flamingo toy, and they just watch it poop all day? <laughs> <laughs> would you ever go skydiving? No. I don't think uh, I would either. Because I feel like you can get the same thrill from just like, like going on a hike, or going in a wind tunnel. Like, you get the beauty like of a hike, and then you, you get the you air. You probably pay, like, what, 300 bucks to go skydiving, and then you're, like, you're in the air, and you go, wow, this is cool. And then you want to hit the ground. You're just tired of it already, like, after, like, a couple minutes. Yeah. I would open my mouth up and catch all the air in it to where my lips oh, and, like, all. tongue and everything God, were you know, flapping like around. Cotton mouth, the worst cotton mouth Yeah, I, dude, I'd hit the ground, like, like, I just ate, like, 50 crackers. You hit the ground, they're like, are you alright? And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I hit the ground, they don't even pull the chute, I just hit the ground. They're like, holy shit, son, are you okay? I was saying, like, if you hit the ground full speed without pulling a parachute, I think you're dead. <laughs> no, I could probably live. That's another thing. I think, I think I could tank a headshot from a Dude, I, I've said this before, and I really do, I just feel like, I, I feel like I can't die. <laughs> Like, I, I kind of well, want to- I think I could, but I think I, a headshot, I could tank it. Like, I'll just shrug it off and keep going. Yeah. I feel like if I- if I felt- if, like, my parachute didn't open all skydiving, I feel like I'd probably be fine. Did One sec, I gotta drink help? water. God. <sighs> oh, shit. Now you got me thirsty. Hey, feel free. You don't mind, do you? Just take Go a quick for water it. break. It's a free country. Dude, it sounds like rust. It sounds like I'm listening to that drinking sound in rust. Damn, your belly must be full. Wait, I'm gonna put on my- I'm gonna put on my- I'm gonna put on my alternate mic. You wanna tune into my stream and hear this thinly? My chat loves this mic. I have a- I have a webcam mic. Should I use that one? Yeah, use- use the, um, use your webcam mic. Let's see how you sound. I don't know how it- it might be a good one. Who knows? I'll let chat be the judge. I'm not- I don't really have a good ear for sound like that. Hello? Yeah, how I don't know if you sound like that skeleton- that- that brain in a jar you were talking about. Uh, ring it on a scale of 1 to 10. I don't know what you said. You said rate your mic? Yeah, like um, on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the- 10 being the highest? Yeah. It's like, up- it it's up there. It's up there. It doesn't have the studio quality that you might expect. Um, but like, do you think I could I could stream with this? Like, I have it on always, and like, I would sound like at a like a ninja level of production. Yeah, I mean, it's not quite as good as my mic. Here, tune into my stream really quick, and I'll show you. Yeah, let me let me check yours out real quick. Just let me know when you're in. All right, I'm in. Um. Okay, here's the mic mic test. Mic test one two. And I really try to okay. remove as much, um, there's a, there's a highway right by my house, so I try to remove as much as a background noise as possible. But, um, yeah, I've got the, uh, I think I have it all set up right. You sound game. like the, is the mic like 10 feet behind you? Yeah, I don't want, my desk is really small. I don't have room for it on there, but. Super far behind you. What if I, like, turn my fan on while I'm talking? One sec, I'm getting kind of thirsty. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think it's because I have, like, a uh, noise conversion. I was taking a drink. Hello? <laughs> this is the future of streaming. Do you think- wait, wait. Is there only one way in Nothing. this place? Dude, I'm telling you, what if we just- wait, where in the f am I- oh, never mind. What if we go like this, ready? Cause like, there's no way- I think he's here. Down. False wall down. Oh, no, my God, this door next to us started opening. I thought it was a guy coming in. Come place your mines right here. 
This guy's name is Code Zero, by the way. I found out how to figure out their names. Just start Dude, putting traps there. If this guy comes down here, he is gonna get blown to smithereens. Wait, I can Don't look open at that. Don't open that. I can look at it. There's a dude in- I think he's here! I think he was just looking at us! Wait, is that literally the only way in? Is that... Wait! Yeah, he's gonna have to drop down. There's no way he can disarm those. He has to fall on them. Can he see him? Can I mean, he see... probably can, but what can he do about it? Wait, you could probably come in from this window here. I'm trying to make my character call. What?! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> 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 Holy shit, dude! <laughs> <laughs>